Hi, my name's Adam, as a qualified gardener Denver engineer, I'm here to show you a few easy, simple checks you can do each week to try and optimise the performance of your equipment. When servicing, we recommend that you use a qualified engineer and that we ensure we use genuine parts. Because the use of non-genuine parts, although it may save you pennies in the short term, will definitely cost you in the future. For our routine weekly checks, the first thing we want to make sure is that the power is off and the machine is cold, because this will be the best time to check your oil. We also want to take a moment to step back and make sure there's no sign of anything around the machine on the floor, no sign of any oil, any water or anything else that we do not want to be there. To start with, just checking on the air filter to make sure that that is in the state that we want it to be in. For ease of access and best view, start off with removing the top. And just up on the top, obviously, we have the air filter. First of all, we just need to set the lid off. To twist the lid to remove. Once we got the filter out, we want to just make sure there's no buildup of debris or dirt. Make sure there's no sign of any splitting or any breaks in the filter itself. Once we're happy with that, we can put it back. What we're looking for is to make sure that the sight glass is completely full and we can see that we've got oil in here. Should, for any reason, we need to actually top the machine up, then what we're looking for is the filler plug which obviously we'll need to loosen. Then ensuring we're using genuine oil, the same as the machine is filled with to start with, we would be filling the machine up to the top. An important check we need to do is to make sure that the airflow for the oil cooling is as good as it can be. We want to be making sure visually that there's no dirt or debris build up within the oil cooler itself. And also to make sure that the pre-filter is as clean as it can be. If we do find a build up of dirt, then we want to be taking either a soft brush or an airline, blow through both the cooler and the pre-filter so we make sure they're as clean as they can possibly be. On the drier side of the compressor, one of the important things we need to check is to make sure that the condenser for the dryer itself is as clean, as clear as it can be. We're just doing a quick visual check, make sure there's no obvious build up of dirt, if you do find there's any build-up, then we can always use an airline just to clean it through and also just check the condensate level while we're around here. And should we the container be getting too full, then we want to be looking at disposing of this responsibly and legally. <laughs>